Hi, Roger here from Apogee Electronics. You've set up your Symphony I.O. with your 7.1.4 Atmos speaker array, but now you'd like to calibrate your system to better meet Dolby's Atmos specifications. Ginger Audio's Ground Control Sphere multi-channel control room software with speaker level, delay, and EQ settings for each speaker, plus bass management, is the perfect solution. Plus, you can set up Sphere to play spatial audio tracks in 7.1.4 format directly from Apple Music, so you can compare your Atmos mix to your favorite releases. So let's learn how. We'll assume that you've set up Symphony I.O. with your Atmos speakers as described in my previous videos, linked below in the description. For the purposes of this demo, your Atmos speaker array should be connected to Symphony I.O. analog outputs 1 through 12. First, let's configure Sphere's main output for our 7.1.4 speaker array. We'll use Sphere's speaker level, delay, and EQ calibration to optimize our system for the room. Since our speakers are somewhat small, we'll also use bass management to reinforce the low end with our sub. In Sphere, click the main output cogwheel button. Double click in the name field to enter the name Atmos. Click the output audio device disclosure arrow and choose Symphony IO Thunderbolt 7.1.4 and choose the LRC LFE speaker order the only one available. This should display 12 speaker channel rows with several parameters. Now let's set up bass management. First, click the bass management checkbox to activate filter settings. Then configure each output for your speakers and sub. Now, the specific filter settings are determined by your speakers plus subwoofer and to some extent, experimentation. Next, it's time to configure the level, delay, and EQ for each speaker using the volume, delay, plus your favorite EQ in the plug-in section. So, how much time have you got? Because doing all this manually could take a while. An easy but expert way to accomplish this is to use Sonarworks Sound ID system to calibrate your room. In short, you use their Sound ID Reference Measure app to create a calibration profile. Then you open the Sound ID Reference multi-channel plugin in Sphere, and finally you load the calibration profile in the plugin. Voila, system calibrated. Next, let's set up Sphere to stream 7.1.4 spatial audio tracks from Apple Music. This can be complicated with other systems, but again, Sphere makes it simple. In Sphere, click the A input cogwheel button. Double click in the name field and enter Apple Music. Click the input audio device disclosure arrow and choose Sphere 16 Mon, 7.1.4, and choose the LRC LFE speaker order again. On your Mac, open Audio MIDI Setup from the Applications Utilities folder. In the left-hand column, click Sphere 16 Mon, then Control click Sphere 16 Mon and choose Use this device for sound output. Click Configure Speakers, then choose 7.1.4 Atmos Surround in the Configuration drop-down menu. Confirm that Sphere channels 1 through 12 are routed as shown here, then click Apply. Now open Apple Music, Choose Music Preferences, click the Playback tab, and set Dolby Atmos to Automatic. We recommend that you check Lossless Audio for the highest quality stream. Now you're set up to enjoy your favorite tracks in 7.1.4 Atmos. Next, let's set up Pro Tools. I'm going to leave it to you to connect Pro Tools output to the separate Dolby Renderer app input, but connecting the Renderer output to Sphere is really easy. Open the Dolby Renderer, then open Preferences. Under Devices, set Audio Output Device to Sphere 32 Mon. Next, open the Room Setup window under the Setup menu item. Click the Speaker icon and verify routing. Now in Sphere, click the B Input Cogwheel button. Configure Input B for input from Sphere 32 Mon in the 7.1.4 speaker configuration. Enter the label Pro Tools and you're set. With Ginger Audio's Sphere Control Room software, you've got all the settings you need to meet Dolby's Atmos specifications. You can compare your Atmos mixes to your favorite commercial releases, and all this with the class-leading conversion and intuitive operation of Symphony I.O. Mark II. Check it out at the link down below.